Hello all traders, welcome to Susan FX1 channel. It was a long time ago I did a video, but today I have a feeling that I want to do a video for you. And this video, the future video series are about the Forex and the indicators. Before I began to talk um, is that I want you to write down in the comment section no matter how many years or months you have experience with the forex i want you to write down please in 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 the comment section for me and tell me your opinion about the indicators uh, what do you think about do you use indicators or you do not use them at all um, but let me tell you my history about the forex and the indicators okay uh, i have started to um, get familiar with uh, forex was about 2008 2009 and uh, actively started to uh, experience um, the mt4 chart and um, trying to learn the mt4 and I love MT4 chart. I uh, know how I should to work with the MT4. And um, this is what I like about it. Uh, it's uh, Everything is here in, in, in the uh, MT4 chart. Um, there's different different functions. You can see all over, all, all, all sort of uh, the pairs are here, you know the gold for example is here xau all right let me um choose the gold here okay this is the gold for example gold has been uh, also in the very historic area in 2000 2365 per ounce oh my god this is historical uh, Bitcoin is also high, but this video is not about all these golds and Bitcoins. It's about my journey in the Forex and how am I doing right now after all these years, over 10 years? How do I, how do, I do right now? What do I think? This is my journey, my opinion, and I want to share it with you honestly okay um, forget all about the indicators sooner or later you will understand that indicators cannot help you at all just stay away from indicators indicators just Follow the price. Nothing more. Um, for many years, I have experienced that traders are looking for the holy grail. A indicator that, for example, show some sort of, uh, for example, box here or some sort of box there or something like this with some star something that tells you okay you can start to sell this is what many traders want they want the easy solution the easy road easy way they want something to print on the chart to tell them to buy or to sell. Maybe 90% of the traders think like this. They want some sort of indicators here and there to show them to buy now or to sell now. Let me show you, for example, one of one system. 
I, I do not use these systems now. Okay, but I have been in in this is I mean in this world of indicators. In Forex some is something called I call it the world, the universe of indicators. There are so many indicators in the Forex world. I don't know how many, but there are many. There are many. And when you get involved with the indicator business, your mind will look at other things. Your mind will get far away, get more distance from the truth of trading. Okay? Trading, if you are a trader, if, if you are a businessman, if you sell sandwich, if you have a shop, you sell something, all right? You buy something, you sell something, okay? So you trade. So something is very important for you is, it, is the price. You don't sell hamburgers or the food just for fun. You want to get profit. And the price is very important for you. If you sell, a, a, for example, if McDonald's today is $2, okay, and tomorrow it, it, uh, you see the price is $1, you will understand, okay, it's very cheap. You know, it's all about the price, all right? But when you, in the Forex world, get caught up, with indicators, this is an indicator, this one. This arrow is indicator, okay? All this junk here, they are indicator. This is RSI, this is stochastic and whatever, all right? The only thing which is important for me is the candles. Candles, only the candles and the price and the news. That's it. That's it. Here is one of my trades, okay, from today. This line here represents the buy which I did this morning in the London session and I did another buy here close to US session okay I didn't buy here because uh, for example price were above this R1 24.9 okay or it's, it was above these uh, lines That's experience to know the market, you know. I have found the system that I really seek to find, and I made my system around it. And my system is not very complex, it doesn't involve any indicators or uh, any indicators, just the price. Just the price, okay. And these two uh, moving averages are a fifty and a twenty moving averages. Just uh, I like I like to have these two moving averages here. I don't get my decision based of these indicator. In the, these these are indicators, but I don't make decisions based on them. I have another indicator here showing the strength. These are a very dynamic information here. Right now saying Aussie dollar is strong right now or 
or uh, NSD, New Zealand dollar is ex- is uh, is powerful and US is weak. So in this part, which I call it part one, and I call it the program called Forex and Indicators. This is the part one. And the main question that I want you to please answer in the bottom is do you use indicator or not? And what's your opinion on that? And if you if you like the content right now, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It's free. You should you shouldn't pay for it, right? And in this part it's all about these things and in the next part i will talk about show you indicators and why they are good why they are bad which ones uh, people are using and and all these things all right and by the way this is one of my trends i have another trade run and also which is uh this one nsd uh, jpy um but the big question about all these you are I, I don't want to show off here uh, i don't have any trade running on usd your usd i just want to tell you i'm running with only two trades it's uh, gbp usd and um nsd jpy and the biggest question or the holy grail lies in why why I am involved in only these two trades and why I'm interested in these two there are look here there are so many assets here so many why I'm only involved in these two it's because I have my answer for myself and I know why so this section this program was about this next time I will make another program and show you other things my other experiences I don't want to make this video very long and uh, I think that's it for this section and if you have any question that you want to know, just write down in the bottom. I will answer it. Okay. I hope, I hope you like this uh, video. And don't take press on all these things that I'm saying. This is all my experience. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, till next time, have a nice day. Bye.